Hi everybody, I hope you're well. It's Becky here with a conditioning circuit specifically designed for runners, of course. Uh, so today I'm going to take you through 10 different exercises and the idea is uh, you're going to start off by doing 10 of each exercise and then you do another set of 9 and you sort of work all the way down from there. But I'm just going to sort of show you that the first set really just to give you an idea of the exercises. So, without further ado, Obviously you'll have warmed up, so like sort of five to minute jog, ten minute jog would uh, um, be good and then just a little bit of dynamic stretching. But actually the exercises themselves are quite good uh, stretching exercises, so uh, just work within your capabilities with perfect technique and I'll explain as I go. Um, first off then, downward dog presses. So here you start your downward dog, nice stretch position, trying to keep your elbows in, come down into your press up and then back up. Now, you might notice that I can't seem to do really proper press ups because I do this. I'm sort of peeling my body off the ground as I go. But so long as you don't put any excess strain on your lower back, so I you don't start to start coming up either, and you start getting any pain in your back, then as I say, it's fine just to do what you can without getting too much tension into your body. Okay? So, <laughs> I think that's nearly 10. Couple more, squeezing those glutes, pushing back. Nice shoulder opener as well. Okay, last one. And okay, straight from there. Runners lunge. Uh, dynamic. We're going to go side to side like that. Now, I say ten reps, but that means ten on each leg. I'll show you from the front. Knee to the outside of the elbow. Nice and light. I say really good stretch in the hip. Also, it sort of activates your core a little bit. And 10 on each side. <laughs> 9 and 10. Okay. There. <clears throat> a nice abdominal one. Windscreen wipers. Really good with spine strength and core strength. So just dropping your legs from one side to the other. So that counts as one rep there. It's quite an advanced one, this. So if you need to bend your legs, you can do. I'm trying to keep both. Shoulders on the floor. Um, good, nice, smooth movements. You might feel a few cracks in your spine as you do this, which is absolutely fine. Also, you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. Okay, if you feel like you can only go to there before you can control and do, okay, or else you can go all the way to the floor. And if you need to bend your knees to get back up, you can do. It's just listening to your body because you are putting quite a lot of strain through the back there, so um, you want to be in control, as I say, of how much you feel that you can manage. We don't want any twinges. Right, next one, back to sort of an arm type one. Suicide plank. So as straight as possible with your body. You go down and up. Okay, five with your right arm leading, and then five with your left arm leading. Try not to wobble too much as you go, so it's not too much twisting. That kind of thing. I'm going to show you front on here. I'm tensing my core, tensing my glutes. Okay, keeping shoulders over wrists as much as possible. Good. Last few. That's it. Working through the core. Nice long body on your tiptoes. Okay, downward dog hops. I really like this one. So, plank position. Come up, so one leg down with dog, and then go forward and hop. Okay, so let's do ten on one leg and then ten on the other leg. Here, up, and you feel like you're flying. That's the idea. Okay, so you get the idea there. Lovely. Into an L up, another abdominal one. So really working the lower abdominal here. You're just going to lift your legs up and then using your lower core, as I say, just lifting the bum off the ground, lowering back down, okay, here and up. If you want to do a slightly easier version, bend your legs so you're kind of drawing an L, but we're runners, we're hardcore runners, okay. So the more strain you put through your abdominal, lower abdominal as well, so keeping control of your lower back, then the better crossover you'll get to the type of forces that you'll be experiencing when you're running 
and the best you'll be able to hold your posture. Good, okay, that's an L up, 10 of those. Dips with alternate leg raise. Right, so we're here, we're gonna dip down, okay, top legs, top legs. The key thing here is to bend your elbows. See it all the time where people just keep their arms up out and move their arms down, okay. So by doing it unilaterally like this, we're just putting that kind of asymmetrical uh, strain through the body like you would running. So try not to let the bum drop too much. It will do a bit, but don't worry. Um, so again, 10 on each leg, not to challenge you. Scissor jumps is the next one. So you can either do uh, like a lunge if you have any uh, history of like knee problems, especially or calf problems, then keep it simple as a lunge. Otherwise, okay, nice, light, dynamic scissor jumps. Good. Okay, excellent. Squeezing bum muscles to keep you nice and level. Notice how I'm keeping composed in my shoulders. Again, 10 on each leg. And back bow crossover. It's a really good one. It's for spine strength. We often neglect our backs and just work on our six packs. But again, so key for running posture. I want you to imagine you've got an obstacle in front of you here and behind you and you're going to bow over to each side lifting and placing okay the key is placing arms and legs down so you're not collapsing onto the floor and it's surprising how much that will actually work the, the spine muscles and glute muscles all that kind of thing so keep your shoulders down as you do it as well just sort of shaking the front as well <laughs> yeah, so here, over from one side to the other. Try and keep your neck in line with your spine as well. So you're looking down at the grass, okay? You're not kind of arching up like that. You want to think about alignment whenever you do any exercises. Finishing then, last exercise is number 10 with horizontal bum kicks from here. Again, nice side side position, shoulder over wrist, and kick. One is once you've done both legs. Right, so as I say, it's a kind of like a pyramid type thing, but you start at 10, work down. Try and keep it as continuous as you can. You might want to have a little break after each round, but otherwise, yeah, it's uh, you can make it long as, as short as you want. Uh, you might even find once you get down to like five reps of each, it's not much point really in just doing four, you know, three, two, one. So you can always go back up again to 10 and uh, get a really good workout. But otherwise, yeah, or, or you know, just do it once through as a bit of an activator before I run. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed that, found it useful. And I'll uh, do it with my <laughs> Okay, take care, bye bye. <laughs>